Good day everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the parabolas. We have learned before that parabolas are graphs of quadratic functions. This time, we will define parabola as a set of points on the coordinate plane that are of equal distance from a fixed point and a fixed line. The fixed point is called the focus of the parabola and the fixed line is called the directrix. Illustrating the definition, consider this parabola. The vertex of the parabola is at the origin. The focus is at the point 0, 1. And the directrix is the line y equals negative 1. Let P and Q be points on the parabola with coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. Notice that the distances of P from the focus and its distance from the directrix are equal. Likewise, the same goes for point Q. So its distance from the focus is equal to its distance from the directrix. Taking infinitely many points on the parabola and measuring their distances from the focus and from the directrix, it can be noted that each point have the same distances from them. Aside from the vertex, focus, and directrix, another important elements of a parabola are the latus rectum and axis of symmetry. The line connecting two points on the parabola and passing through the focus is called the latus rectum. The axis of symmetry is the line which divides the parabola into two equal parts and passes through the vertex and the focus. Therefore, looking back on the graph of a parabola, these are the things that we need to remember. Parabola. Parabola is a U-shaped curve that is also symmetrical. Vertex is the turning point of the parabola. It can also be either the maximum point or minimum point of the parabola. Focus is a point in the interior of the parabola. It is also known to be the fixed point. Directrix is a line outside the parabola and is of the same distance from the vertex with the focus. It is also known to be the fixed line. Axis of symmetry divides the parabola into two equal parts and passes through the vertex and the focus. Also, it is perpendicular to the directrix. Latus rectum is a segment parallel to the directrix and contains the focus. This also shows how wide or how narrow a parabola is. Let us now see the general form of the equations of a parabola. The general form of the equation of the parabola is the second degree polynomials in two variables. That is, ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero or ay squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero, where a, d, E and F are elements of real numbers. Remember that the general form of an equation of a parabola has only one term in second degree, whether you have x squared or you have y squared. Let us take a look at these examples of equations of parabolas and their graphs. This is the graph of x squared minus 8y equals 0. This is the graph of x squared plus 8y equals 0. If the equation of the parabola is in the form ax squared 
plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero, then the parabola either opens upward or downward. Therefore, if the square term is x, then the parabola either opens upward or downward. These are another examples of parabolas. This is the graph of y squared minus 4x equals 0. And this is the graph of y squared plus 4x equals 0. If the equation of the parabola is in the form ay squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0, then the parabola either opens to the right or to the left. Therefore, if the squared term is y, then the parabola either opens to the right or to the left. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about parabolas with vertex at the origin. Thank you for listening and see you on our next discussion.